Hello, and welcome to the Spooky Moon Translucent Moons. Spooky Blue Translucent Moons channel. And today, I'm going to be talking about Frank Zappa music. Um, particularly my Frank Zappa record collection, which is slowly getting slowly getting bigger every single day. Um, I, I love Frank Zappa. He's one of my favorite artists of all time. Um, just, I like the weird. I like the strange. If you listen to my own music, here it is, which is right up here, the Spooky Blue Translucent Moons, I, I have a new album called Mystic Ukulele. It's out on iTunes and Spotify. The links are down in the description box below. But anyways, back to Frank Zappa. Um, I don't really have a huge collection. I have definitely more than 10 records. Um, I love the early stuff. I'm more particularly interested in uh, the Mothers of Invention period. Um, and then a little bit into his solo career. Um, well, it's all solo, I guess, <laughs> but, uh, you know, he wasn't, the band wasn't, um, you know, it wasn't like the Beatles, each one was famous with, uh, the later band, later musicians, though he did, um, you know, highlight them, um, when it was the record, but they weren't as big as Frank Zappa. Anyway, so here's the first record. I picked this up. Five dollars. Studio Tan. This is uh this has apparently uh Flo and Eddie on it. Um I didn't know that until someone told me that. Uh it is it is there's some good songs on here. It's pretty weird. I'm gonna be saying that the whole time. Pretty weird. And uh the next record that I have is the same record. This one's a little bit better quality, though. This one looks a little bit cleaner and uh, fresher than uh, the last one. <clears throat> this is the back. Kind of got some cartoons on there. Front's a cartoon. Um, anyone remember The Ripping Friends? That art style reminds me of The Ripping Friends. Uh, this one, this is one of my favorite records, Apostrophe. This was given to me my given to me by a friend named Josh. He found this, I think he, he's from Wisconsin, Wisconsin? I don't know how to say that, Wisconsin. Sounds weird. Um, he found this there and he, it wasn't expensive. And uh, I was totally blown away because I've been looking for this record. And uh, yeah, that's Frank Zappa, apostrophe. Great record. Um, Don't Eat the Yellow Snow, Nook's Rub It, St. Alfonso's Pancake Breakfast, great song. Uh, Father Oblivion, Cosmic Debris, great song. Um, Exo Frugal for, for, uh, Apostrophe, Uncle Remus, which is great. Where I live is not far from the Uncle Remus original location, um, which later became a Disney film. Um, and Stinkfoot. This is a uh, reissue. It's quite heavy. Joe's Garage. Joe's Garage. I need to dig into this a little bit more. I've listened to a bit of it. Not all of it, though. Um, I love anything Frank Zappa, though. Next one is pretty much one of my favorite records. This is a reissue as well. Um, Overnight Sensation. Bunch of great songs. Camarilla, Brillo, I Am The Slime, Dirty Love, Fifty Fifty, Zombie Wolf is one of my all-time favorites. Dynamo Hum, Montana. Montana is awesome. This is just this is just brilliant art. Like very realistic painting style. Great stuff. Great music. Um 
This is one size fits all. Mothers of Invention. Uh, this has Inca Rhodes, which is just brilliant sounding. It's uh, about aliens, I think. I'm pretty sure it's about aliens. Um, can't afford no shoes. Sofa number one. Po, pojama people. Florentine Pogan. Evelyn, a modified dog. San Bernardino. Andy. And sofa number two. <laughs> Awesome uh, constellation stuff on the back here. Next one is my favorite, probably, of all time. Um, Uncle Meat is just, to me, this is the top of the line um, Zappa right here. Um, most of the music from the mother's movie. There was a movie, and I think it was on on YouTube for a little while. And I haven't done a search in a while, maybe a couple of years, maybe more. But I watched it, and there's a digital release of this on CD, and there's a it's a 45 minute, not 45 minute, minute maybe it is 45 minutes. It's it's pretty long, um, of an excerpt from this movie, or excerpts from the movie. And uh, this is just his best stuff. Where's the song list? Uh, yeah. Uh, Dog Breath, Sleeping in a Jar, The Uncle Meat Variations, Electric Aunt, Aunt Gemini, Jim, <laughs> Gemini, Jamimi, Jemima, Mr. Green Jeans, The Air, Cruising for Burgers. Um, here it is. Here's the list. Here's the list. Here's the list. Um, Uncle Meat, The Voice of Cheese, Nine Types of Industrial Pollution, Zolar, C. Zal, Dog Breath in the Year of the Plague, The Legend of the Golden Arches, Louie Louie at the Royal Albert Hall in London, The Dog Breath Variations, that's one of my favorite. It's like the Sanford and Sons theme song. It reminds me of the Sanford and Sons theme song, but it's like so much better. <laughs> it's so much weirder. Um, side two, Sleeping in a Jar. Our Bizarre Relationship. The Uncle Meat Variations. Electric Aunt Jemima. Prelude to King Kong. God Bless America. Live at the Whiskey A Go Go. A pound for a brown on the bus. Ian, and then the last song, Ian Underwood whips it out. And then side three, Mr. Green Jeans, we can shoot you if we'd all been living in California. That one's that's funny. He has like these dialogue bits, which uh, I think are really cool. Um, the Air, Project X, Cruising for Burgers. And then the side four, King Kong itself as played by the mothers in a studio. Then King Kong, its magnificence in, interpreted by Dom DeWild. De King Kong, as Motorhead explains it, King Kong, the Gardner varieties. Gardner was the, uh, well, Motorhead was an, one member of the band as well. And so did Gardner, Buck, Buck Gardner. Um, King Kong as played by three deranged good humored trucks and then King Kong live on a flatbed diesel in the middle of a racetrack at the Miami Pop Festival the Underwood ramifications <laughs> so Ian Underwood whips it out multiple times on this record um, the back is all your your favorite uh there's a, what's his name? Black, that's the drummer. Zappa. Estrada, he liked to sing. Uh, Trip, I don't remember his full name. Buck Gardner, Ian Underwood, uh, Sherwood, George. Yeah. Enough, I can't talk enough about that record. It's a great record.
Ruben and the Jets. This is another reissue. I'm getting them all because I can't get them anywhere else. I can't get the originals. So why not get the reissues? Um, this is one of my favorite. If this record has... I love comedy and this is... Well, all of his stuff is a mixture of comedy, but this has a lot more humor to it than other things. Um, you just have to listen to it. Um, people, I don't think, I think he was trying to, uh, uh, you know, be like, you know, Sgt. Pepper. The Beatles were releasing records under, you know, We're Sgt. Pepper. This is Ruben and the Jets. <laughs> you know, it was alternative band name. But really, this is the Mothers of Invention. And it says that right here. This is the Mothers of Invention recording under a different name in the last ditch attempt to get their cruddy music on the radio. Pretty much that's it. Ruben and Jetson. And then we got a fantastic picture of Frank Zappa, young Frank Zappa, on the back. Um, next up, Lumpy Gravy. This is um, like a collection of recordings played back to back, back to back to back. Um, it's w continuous sound. It's like a, you're listening to a weird, a radi weird radio show on both sides. Um, uh, what is it? And this says, uh, is this phase two of we're, on we're only in it for the money? Lumpy Gravy. It's called. This is his Frank Zappa's first solo album. If you're wondering. Um, this is. We're only in it for the money. Um, the Mothers of Invention. Very strange, almost political. A lot of political statements said on this record. Um, you know, flower power sucks. Um, a lot of things happen on this record. I always thought this was humorous. Um, I think that's Motorhead there. And he's holding a blank crumpled up piece of paper. He's just holding it like, like, look at this. It's blank piece of paper. You know, uh, and they're all wearing dresses on the cover. <laughs> and apparently these are all like the most worst people, like villains. They're all like evil bad people of the world um yeah great songs on there a bunch of great songs um and then it says on here is this phase one of lumpy gravy which is which was the last record um Who stands out on here? There's Jimi Hendrix. Uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, what's her name? Uh, his wife, Zappa's wife, is right there in a blue dress. Um, there's a, this is a wax version of Eddie Mundy, which is this guy right here, the drummer. Um, <laughs> you know wax version of Zappa which was on the Sgt. Pepper as well um, Nosferatu um. <laughs> it's just funny stuff on there and of course with of course I've got this too freak out um, Susie cream cheese what's got into you Sorry, these are in plastic. This is in double plastic because I love it so much. That was another reissue. Both the last two were reissues. <coughs> um, this is uh, Valley Girl with Moon Zappa and Frank Zappa. Um, for some reason, Moon Zappa follows me on Instagram. I don't know why. And sometimes... She likes my weird posts. That's all I know. Um, zapped. This is a compilation of um, uh, not just um, 
it's pretty much stuff that Frank Zappa has produced and recorded. Um, other groups um, like uh, Alice Cooper, Captain Beefheart, and uh, Judy Hensky and Jerry Yester, Tim Buckley, um, Wildman Fisher, Alice Cooper, Tim Dahl, Lord Buckley, um, Jeff Simmons, Captain Beefheart again, uh, the GTOs, the Girls Together Only group, Frank Zappa, Willie the Pimp. Um, these are like alternative takes, not just like there's an official release, these are like alternative versions that were released on, or unreleased material too. I think one of the uh, Captain Beefheart songs is an unreleased version. That was on um, Trout Mask Rep Replica. <sighs> this is a friend of mine named Tony. He uh, found a copy of Overnight Sensation, and he didn't have it, it. Came without the sleeve. He found it without a sleeve, so he sent me this blank CD. I mean, not CD. Blank record. Uh, you know, a empty sleeve of Let's Dance the Cha Cha Cha. But this inside here is this overnight sensation. Just to keep it safe, you know, protect your records. And the last, this is my last one um, Orchestral. Frank Zappa, Orchestral Favorites. And uh, apparently, Frank Zappa had a hard time getting people to do orchestral versions of his music and uh this is there was like several records he released where um people were making mistakes on the record because you know he he only could pay them for so much time and uh do so much in you know a certain period of time so people would make mistakes and they'd have to edit them out or let them happen and this is kind of like the compilation of the best stuff with the least mistakes. <laughs> that's that's what I that's what I I think this is what this is, um, and uh, it's pretty good. Um, Duke of Prunes, Bogus Romp on side two. This is side two, and then side one strictly genteel. Pedro's dowry, naval aviation in art. And uh, here's the back side. And uh, yeah, that's uh, my Frank Zappo record collection. I don't know how long this video is. Uh, 18 minutes? Yeah, 18 minutes. Um, um, I'm on Twitter under the Spooky Moon. Um, I'd like, please subscribe if you've watched this far into the video. I have 229. Um, currently as of May 12th and uh, I'd love to have a thousand people um, subscribe to my channel and if you get a chance um, check out Mystic Ukulele by the Spooky Blue Translucent Moons which is my music I write and record and produce my own songs I have another album out there under called Temples and Pyramids which is also in the description box below um, both all the links there's it's on most digital formats like uh you know Spotify, iTunes. And if you do a search on any other platform that you particularly have that you use, it's probably on there too. So uh I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.